Hi, this is Mr. Rego, and today we're going to learn how to solve absolute value equations. Let's um, take this one for example. Let's say absolute value of x equals 5. Now, when we solve absolute value equations, is we're going to have two different answers. The absolute value is going to give me a positive answer, and it's also going to give me a negative answer. Okay? Something that we need to understand is that what is inside the absolute value will never change. The one that changes is the sign on the outside. Let's pretend that I have, um, um, let's change that. Absolute value of x uh, minus 10 equals uh, 15. Okay. So the idea is, before we do this process that we did on the top, the absolute value has to be by itself. So in my case, I have to get rid of that negative 10 by doing the opposite, which is adding 10 on both sides. Negative 10 plus 10 will cancel out, and I'll have an absolute value of x equals to 25. At this point, because the absolute value is by itself, then I have my two different answers. One positive and one negative. End of story. So the main idea, the absolute value has to by itself, and at that point, you break it into two different answers. So let's say that I have... Um, absolute value of x over 3 equals 7. Okay? If you notice, I have something dividing. Opposite of division is multiplication. So times 3, times 3 on both sides, those 3 will cancel out here, and I'll have absolute value of x equals 21. At this point, because the absolute is by itself, then you break it into two different answers. One positive, one negative. Okay? So that's the idea. Let's do one more multiplication. Let's pretend that I have uh, 2 absolute value of x equals 24. Now, this 2 is multiplying the absolute value. Therefore, I have to divide by 2, divide by 2. Okay? So this 2 by 2 cancels out, and you have absolute value of x equals to 12. The absolute value is by itself, so break it into two different answers. One positive and one negative. Okay? Technically, when you solve this uh, absolute value equations, you have x equals 12 or x equals negative 12. So I was missing the or. Okay? In all of those answers. Or. You have to do those different answers.